Nat 20! Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventures uh, all came, uh, got back together after separating to A, go uh, save Rumin, Rockney, and B, go try to go fight a dragon. So everyone all came back to one point in a valley between two mountains, found out that Phasmir was dead, uh, oh, yes. got a bunch of magic items. Rest in peace, Phasmir. And yeah, so now everyone is on their way to the to a marshland between two mountains where a flower called the Frivolous Frentella can be found. So last we left off, everyone was in the cart on the path to right towards the direction. Yes. Uh, so Blaze, since you've probably been in the in this area quite a lot, you do know that this path is very, very rarely traveled, and that's because uh, about a half day's travel uh, east from where you are right now, there's a ghost town, and it's a town that freaks a lot of people out, and very few people actually go into it because of that. Uh. You do know some of the history of it, so you do know that at one point during the war against humans, everyone in the town just vanished. No one knows what happened to them or where they went, but they vanished. And since then, no one has ever lived in the town. Uh, you do know it's in the... It's kind of nestled between two wetlands in a valley between two mountains, and... It's, uh, the town is called Fogmere, and because it's where it is, it's extremely foggy in the morning and, uh, late morning and at night as well. So just all day. <laughs> yeah, most of the day. And you do know that it was a really bustling town back in the day because there were two big mine operations going on there, one for silver and one for coal and diamonds. And... Those mines are no longer used, but it's assumed that there's still tons of silver, coal, diamonds in those. But there's also been myths of monsters and demons and attacks, and no one has ever went down to the mines and come back. Aw, oh, man. But, so no one knows why they disappeared and there's no one there ever? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, every once in a while, people, a couple people will visit it just because maybe they had relatives there or interested in the history or what's actually happening. But very few actually go there. Is it on our way? Yes, it is on the path that you're taking from where you are to the frivolous Frantella marshes. You do know that there are other trails. They'll just take a lot longer to uh, go through. Hey, everybody. Um, so to get to the frivolous Frantella marshes, we have to go through a town that I've heard quite a lot about. Uh, it's considered a ghost town. No one ever... Uh, no. Goes there because uh, <laughs> back in the war, uh, the random citizens randomly disappeared, and their disappearance has been remained a mystery. Uh, the quickest way would be to go through the town, and I would actually like to go through the town because then I could take a moment to explore and perhaps learn more about their uh, fate. Unless you guys would prefer to go around, it might take us longer, but then we could avoid any impending doom or dangers that come with said town. We are avoiding it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean... E even if I have to walk, I'm avoiding the town. But Lazarus, think of all the cool monsters that might be there for you to fight. Think of all the ghosts there. Don't you like monsters? Don't you want to kill monsters? Yeah, but these are monsters that I do not want to deal with. Why? <laughs> Why not? Are you scared of ghosts? You ever see a ghost, man? No! Exactly. <laughs> you never know when they're there. <laughs> I never thought I would uh, see you be afraid of something. How long does it take to travel around? Um. How long does it take? To It'll take about an extra day to travel around. Listen, oh. we're running short on time as is. I feel like we should really just risk the ghost down. And Lazarus, you can stay in the cart where it's safe. Answer the question, please. What was the question? How long does it take to travel around? Oh, sorry. It'll take an extra day. <laughs> That's a day too many. Wait, I said that! What are you? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay, anyway. if we don't go through the town, we'll have to take an extra day. And we're running short on time. What the world is ending! We have literally all the time in the world. Mm. No, I... <laughs> Speaking for some of us. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, 
Listen, we don't have time. Annadelle is already fading. <laughs> oh no. Also, uh, Sebastian, who plays Farron, was unable to make it for the session, so he won't be. He'll just be an NPC. And Farron wants us back in time for his birthday. <laughs> He's really looking forward to turning 18! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how about we put it up to a democracy vote? So we all vote. Hey. I vote we go through town. Uh, Lovecraft also votes to go through the town. <laughs> Back when we were going to that cave with uh, statues and such in it, yeah. um, and I was like communing kind of with my god, yeah. he told me to go northeast, was it? Or northwest? Yeah, northeast. northeast. Yeah. Do I still have that feeling of where I need to go? Uh, it's very faint on the back of your mind, so roll and just an intelligence check, please. Uh, <laughs> seven. Yeah, you're not sure exactly where it's at, you just know it's, it's summer to the northeast of okay. Ite. Cool. I guess I won't act on it then. I vote no. <laughs> Alright! So far it's two to one! Lovecraft's vote doesn't count. Yes, it does! He's a part of the team! <laughs> He's useless, but... <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Listen, man, he's done a lot for us! <laughs> <laughs> he's always been there for me, unlike you guys! I think he, he, fought, he I think he was the one who found the trail for Rumen. Or was he? No, uh, he wasn't. He helped. Yeah, he, he helped. Okay. Help. Yeah, but I... I knew that where Ruin was, yeah. so that's irrelevant to me. Listen, the point is, show some goddamn respect! <laughs> <laughs> this, this I vote... Th- what? Sorry, I didn't mean to hear it. Oh. I vote we go through the town. That's that save us some time, we can kill things. And See, maybe loot some stuff. That's three to one! I say no. I say we go around. Oh, that's three to two! At most, Lovecraft counts as half a vote. Okay. It's two and a half to two. We're still winning. Uh, fair and... <laughs> what if, uh, just, roll, just roll for roll first, yeah, I guess. percentage roll. I'll do, I, I feel like I he, would he would not want, want no, to. No, I think he would. I, I kind of think he would he's want 17, to. He's 17, he's rebellious, dude. He's like, I, he's gonna yeah. go to a he wants to do ghosts. something he's fun. Plagued he, by demons. He threw a body into uh, yeah, come a, on. a sleeping he, bag or whatever and slid it down. Yeah, I know, <laughs> dude, that, that was fun. He wants to do fun things. What's more fun than fucking fighting monsters? Yeah, and it's a ghost tour. Because it isn't. Uh, 24, so... <laughs> you gotta decide what... It yeah, is. yeah, you know what? Yeah, okay. Okay, so, I'll roll again. So, above 50 is yes, below 50 is no. Uh, six, 97. Looks like we're going to the ghost town, what? boys! <laughs> Fuck that. Listen. <clears throat> I can't get the voice to do, man. Yeah, you're doing fine. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> voice training. <laughs> 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 All right, listen. All right, listen, 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 listen. It'll be fine. Listen, Lazarus, listen. Hey, listen. Uh, Lazarus, just stay in the cart, okay? Protect listen. the, protect the, listen, the cart. <laughs> and you'll be fine, okay? Just don't, listen, listen. Just don't leave the cart. If you're scared. I'm just saying something bad is going to happen. <laughs> Nothing bad's going to happen. If anything, we'll get some cool items or something. I have a bad feeling about this. I am very excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's driving? I think I'm driving, right? No, uh, Farron was driving the cart that you were in, and oh, I think you're driving the other cart, because Farron had rolled super high, like yeah. a nat 20 on driving, so it's yeah, like drifting around cars. corners and stuff. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, you, you weren't here last round, last no. time. Uh, do you want me to quickly go over anything? We could. Okay, so... I kind of pieced it together, but... Yeah, so, uh, you and, you, Ryan, Aelendal, and Ruman had, went to Ruman's place, he got all his armor, weapons, and stuff, got a horse and a cart for you guys to ride in, then you guys went on your way, you, uh, ran into Mr. Mithers, uh, you found out some of the story of, like, how, of why he ended up stealing the stuff from Mr. Mithers. And then uh, Ryan fixed the cart for him. Ilandrell mm-hmm. tossed him a few gold pieces, and then you guys left. Good Samaritans. Uh, and made your way to the valley where the dragon was. Uh, there was no dragon. The dragon had flown away by the time. 
they fa- uh, these guys found Fa- uh, Fasmir's body, uh, in, right on the tracks of, uh, Blaze and Farron's cart. Uh, he had a big bump on his head. Uh, you guys met up again. Then Blaze told everyone that Farron had, well, that Fa- Fasmir was still alive, just barely clinging on to life. Like, it would be, like, two death saves, two, three successful fails, or whatever. And then, Fazmir, I mean, uh, Farron bopped him on the head with, uh, rod, with one of the magic rods, and killed him. <laughs> and they dumped his body on yeah. the track. Then they went to explore a cave, and found a bunch of dead Goliaths. And then, Blaze and Farron ended up sliding down in their, uh, sleeping bags. Farron brought a Goliath's body with him to go faster and rolled re- pretty high for fun. <laughs> for fun. Uh, then everyone just was like chatting in the tent and stuff. Then everyone started making their way to where we are now. Chatting? I mean, we did cast Zone of Truth. Oh yeah, Zone of Truth. Oh, the yeah. absolute yeah. ass out of Farron. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone learned that Fazmir made a deal with someone, I think. And that... Uh, he has no idea how he got here. He knows that his family, or that he made the deal to save his mother from sickness, and that he every once in a while he ends up being transported through fire or something to do something. I'm not sure if he. I can't remember if he said what. Uh, and you guys learned that uh, Rumin is a rune knight as well. Okay, so uh, you guys are traveling still on this road, then I assume. Yeah, I, think, I believe so. I'm still uh, driving uh, Ruman's horse. Yeah, <laughs> it's a thing of it's a thing of power. It's a power move. Driving a horse, <laughs> dude. Riding a horse, saving a cowboy. <laughs> so. When we approach the town, what does it look like? Uh, so you haven't got, uh, came to this town quite yet. So as you're on your way towards the, uh, this town, you are traveling through a long valley between a bunch of mountains. And at one point, you do see actually a couple travelers on your way, which is super rare and uncommon. Uh, as they come near, they're just walking. And, well, they're walking with walking horses as well, just two horses. But you see that one is a Goliath male, and he seems almost traumatized, traumatized in some way, and really shaken up. The other is a half orc woman, and uh, she's strong, has short, short black hair, and seems to be kind of taking care of the Goliath. The Goliath is quite old too, probably like in his sixties or seventies. Boomer. <laughs> 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 hey, old travelers! Uh, they they stop and uh, the elf woman says, uh, "Hello, hello, uh, half orc woman." Yes, yeah, sorry, did I say something else? Elf. Oh no, half orc. Sorry, breaking my immersion game. <laughs> what, if what if she's half orc and half elf? Then she's half orc and half elf. No, then she'd be quarter elf. No. Wait, yeah, she'd be quarter no, elf. No, because it's like an orc and an elf had a baby, and yeah, it's yeah. half orc and half elf. Yeah. And Unless it's an orc and a half elf. Yeah, had that, a baby, that's the way I, I. Then it's a half orc and quarter human. Quarter. And quarter elf. Or quarter other, I guess. Yeah. Depending on what. The point is, she's a half orc? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hail! Travelers! Hello! Uh, where are you going to? We're going to the frivolous. Friend. Friend. Frivolous. Frivolous Frantella. We're going to the Frivolous Frantella uh, marshes. Oh, so we just give out our objective now? That's what we're doing? Oh, I didn't. Yes. I, is it a secret? Right, well, you never know. I mean, I mean now it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they try anything. I'm saying this out of your shot. If they try anything, we'll just fucking kill them. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to kill the old man Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to try anything. I don't actually want to kill them, okay? She hears this. Oh, oh she fucking does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Did we stop the cards? Yeah, I stopped. Yeah, them. Okay, and we're behind, so I yeah, stopped. I'm, 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 stop, I stop. okay. okay. yeah. I'm just <laughs> leaning over the uh, cart, talking to them. Okay. Goliath looks sickly. Yeah, 
All right, I'll, I'll, I'll well, not sickly, I'll but like uh, traumatized or like super shaken up. Like oh, he's okay. wide eyed, he's got goosebumps, and his he's like just staring off in the distance in one place. Shock! You gonna pull out your warhammer? <laughs> Maybe he has Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> It'd be so funny you approach him. <laughs> Maybe he has Alzheimer's. Oh, oh. The orc woman will oh, say. You do know that the ghost town is off this way, right? Yeah, that's where we're going! <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna ask, uh, what happened to him? Uh, she says that they had gone to the town, and immediately the gla- Like, she thought- she just thought that it was an empty town, but the gla- like, started being shaken up, and started being really nervous about it, and stuff like that. See? And then- they no, de- I can't see! Ghosts are invisible! They decided to explore it a bit more, and after probably like half an hour, uh, the Goliath was just too traumatized and became unresponsive. Hmm. So, can I do a medicine check? Sure. See if I can help at all? I'm sorry, are you the cleric? I said it first. Um, I'm gonna ask the, the orc lady. Um, I rolled How? 16. 16? Uh, uh, you, you're pretty sure Sorry. it's, like, shock of some kind. Just shock? Yeah. He just needs a good slap. <laughs> She'll be fine. I mean, he'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to ignore everything that Blaze is doing and roll my own medicine check. Okay. <laughs> my own medicine He's check. in shock, Ryan. 24. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, it seems to you that it's something to do shock and being traumatized about something that he saw. Okay. So he's in shock, right, Ryan? Like I said, he's in shock. Still ignoring <laughs> how f- how large is the town? Uh, it's a, it's about there are probably around a hundred buildings there. So it wouldn't take very long for us to travel through, right? No, not at all. Okay, because we're just passing by. We're not gonna stay too long. Well, the thing is, we'll leave this abyssal wretch behind, but we won't be there long. <laughs> This little wretch. Don't, don't worry about it. It's really not important. All you need to know is that I'm broken inside. <laughs> I've had, uh, I also had a very traumatizing experience, which is why I understand that he is in shock. Therefore, all you need to know is that he'll be fine in a few, a little while, but he will have a lingering trauma that will never leave him. I'm, I'm very don't... sorry to hear about that. You, you don't have to listen to anything he says. He, he doesn't know shit about medicine. <laughs> I think you're just jealous because I saw it first. Still ignoring him. Um, I'm gonna... It, it's not really applicable, but we'll try it anyway. I'm gonna cast lesser restoration on him. On the Goliath. Okay, uh, can you read what that spell does? It's, uh, you touch a creature and end a disease or condition afflicting it. Specifically blinded, deaf, and paralyzed, or poisoned. It's not greater restoration, but... Okay, uh... He does kind of shiver a little bit when he casts that, and his eyes just... He starts blinking a lot, blinking a lot. You see the goosebumps start to, like, uh, fade off his skin, and he kind of shakes his head, and he seems at least somewhat back to normal. Cool. Hey there, old timer. Are you feeling a better? <sighs> I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> I say to Ryan, um, "Can you cure his asthma?" <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Um. Thank. Thank you so much. Where? Where are we? He asks the woman. The woman just pats him on the back and tells him that we're just uh, a few cl- few kilometers out of uh, Fogsmere. And he says, what, what the fuck happened? Whoa, language, and- old man! <laughs> um, family friendly. Can I tell if whatever is affecting him is completely gone and he's just recovering, or is there still something affecting him? Uh, roll another medicine check. You think he's possessed? I don't know. Did he say that all Dirty out? 20. Uh, you're pretty no, sure so that it's voice. all gone and he's just okay. trying to deal with what he, what De- had happened. Deal with yeah. demons. What did you see? 
I heal people that are. You look pretty freaked out, and you were in a ghost town, and so did you see something that freaked you out in the ghost town? Yeah, the town was as it was supposed to be, like hundreds of years ago. People were there. Then a monster of some kind just showed up. He paralyzed everyone there, and when after he did that, he started just. Picking them up and picking them off and just taking them down to whatever hell hole he came up from. What did, yeah, what did it look like? Uh, it was like a, a giant, like giant, maybe large being. He had huge fangs and, uh, pitch black skin. Um, he had wings on his back and, Monstro- like monstrous talons that could like break anything they you try to grab or anything like that. His eyes are pure black. No whites of his eyes or anything like that. And he had a terrible screech. Did that ring any bells? Does that sound like anything you know? Not really. Nothing no. from like books or anything ever? No. That's not normal. <laughs> Congratulations, Lazarus! You're a real monster hunter now! We really shouldn't go in there. Do you, think, do you think I'm normal? Okay? Don't make fun of somebody just because they look different. You see okay? what that one monster did to this big Goliath. The orc woman s- seems super surprised at what he was saying as well, and she says, Honestly, I didn't see anything. The town was deserted. Hmm. Look. We're just passing through, so if we go through quick, we'll be fine. Um, because you're already dead. Can you re- <laughs> what would the monster look like? Fair, dark skin, and yeah, black, uh, black skin, pitch black skin, uh, wings, super sharp talons, pure black eyes with no whites or anything like that. Sharp talons, black, black eyes, pure black eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was a uh, very large. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's a big eagle. <laughs> <laughs> so black skin, wings, sharp tones, pure black eyes, very large. Shrieks. Uh, yeah, a uh, terrifying shriek. Shriek. A terrifying shriek. I think he might be onto something, Tommy. Dude, eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys. This could be a chance for us to solve one of the great mysteries of Telvania. Don't you oh. want to be written in the history books? No, I don't care. I'm We're literally just... writing the history book. I'll put your name in it. Nobody cares about history except for you. No. I mean, I may be known as the one who slays no, Artemis, but... If we wrote history, Farron's a goddamn king. <laughs> Farron is not a king. That was not a real ceremony. You're not a fucking knight. Actually, I'm a knight. <laughs> <laughs> a knight can't crown a king. He's I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, a king is I do crowned well. by his bishops. Were you knighted in? Yeah, I was knighted in Stilby. Uh, I think of Ronches. Yeah. Were the rest of us knighted? No, no I, I just, I just asked, asked if I could be knighted, yeah. and he's like, yeah, and I was like, oh yeah. I, don't remember that at all. I should flex that more. I feel like or no, it, it was Stilby, I think, because after you guys the helped the revolution, oh, yeah. the, oh, yeah. king, the new king of Stilby, King Zix, asked you guys yeah. if you wanted it. I said I wanted to be knighted. Yeah. So, flex. Did we just get Rocky Talkies from that? No, you didn't get Rocky Talkies from that at all. We got that from the Avalanches. Yeah, so. I still have the other rock. Anyway. You may not care, but I do. Right. <laughs> so we're we're going through. When you when you find the person that'll read a book written by an abyssal wretch, come find me. That's dumb, and I'm gonna <laughs> sit in the cart. And, uh, I'm ignoring you now. All right, cool. Are we just gonna keep going? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Uh, the orc woman will just say good luck and be safe as you travel through there. You saw what happened to my friend here, and yeah, just try to be safe. Cool. I'll speak a blessing of safe passage over them. I'm going to have say thanks. kind of sit in the back and fall on my wolf, wolf's paw and <laughs> pray to my goddess. So. <laughs> I forget who I even chose. Pray to whoever deity I yeah. chose. It's not important. <laughs> uh, if you want to, you could roll a religion check. Just if you want. I got an 11. 
Uh, your prayers don't be doing, be doing too much. It it helps you feel safe. You're not sure if it has actually done anything, but you just feel safer doing that. So as you guys move forwards, you uh, get over a small hill, and you see the town down below. And uh, can everyone roll a percentage dice, please? Oh, God. Percentage dice? Yep. And let's start. Here's the question. Do I want to use a metal, a yellow, or a blue? Let's go metal. It's safer that way. Metal blue. I don't have that. I wish I did. 41. 41? 12. 94. Okay, wait. Wow. So... 41, 12. No, 94. No, Tony got Oh, he pointed at me and I was like, oh, don't take that from me. He got 94. I got 94. Okay. Nice. You die. 14. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Dude, I think I got the good good ending. I don't know, man. I don't think yeah. that's Watch, a good ending. You guys are all going to start seeing visions and I'll be fine. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> so, Zach and Tony, or uh, Alan Roland and Lazarus, you see... The town just looks deserted to you. You don't see anything else going on in the town. No ghosts, no monsters, no people, no nothing. Awesome, just the way I like it. Awesome, positive. Uh, Duncan? Yes, sir. Uh, as, oh, as you look closer, you see a ton of ghosts in this town. Okay. Like, it looks like a legit town for ghosts. Oh, sweet. Alright. <laughs> Did you say anything? Uh, then... I don't know what you saw yet. You got eight... Uh, you got 94? Yeah. Okay. Die. Uh, as you look at the town, it seems bustling with people, and it seems like the time before the war. Um, this is slightly disconcerting. And I'm we... gonna roll for what Farron would see, and Drewman too. Yeah, uh, this is a very creepy town. <laughs> uh, so that was fifty-three. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> oh, no. This is perfect for Farron. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't even see a town. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? What are you guys looking at? He asks. I'm looking at this crazy busy town down here. There's people everywhere. They're running around. Um, there's, there's, no there's no town people. there. There's just a bunch of ghosts. Uh, there's not no, even no. a town. <laughs> uh, can we state some facts? Uh, I am I am driving Ruman's car. <laughs> So I'm on the horse, so whoever's in Ruman's car... Ruman, yeah, Ruman saw the same thing you saw. Okay. Yeah. So and then you, you're you driving... You saw an empty town? And Farron's yeah. driving. <laughs> no! no. no. <laughs> Farron, Farron, what do you mean you don't see there's, the town? There's no, there's no town there. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna drive now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm driving right now. How about we rock, paper, scissors for it? No, I'm, I'm, I'll get us super fast to where we need to go. Can I... You guys are seeing things. It's just a deserted town. It's not deserted. There's uh, people everywhere. What? There's no people, but there, there's just ghosts. You no, idiot. There's people. There's, they're running around making a mess of the road. Did you guys stop? Or are you still, like, traveling? <laughs> yeah, well, Everybody stop! Stop! What? Stop! Well, I, who's where? Okay, I'm, I'm driving in the car with car. Farron. Okay, I'll, I'll go... I will mean then you that okay. Uh, I'm in the cart with Farron driving. Where are you? I'm I'm behind them and I'm driving Ruman's horse okay. and cart. I probably would have been in the first cart, whichever one you call So you're with me? Sure. Yeah. Okay, and then me and Ruman are in the last cart yeah. with Tony. Or Alien yeah. Dog. Yeah, okay. And Farron is driving your cart. Driving the, the cart. <laughs> <laughs> let's bring it to a let's bring it all to a stop here. Okay, so then I, okay. I, I pull up beside them so we're like side by side. Okay, fair enough, we'll stop the car okay. reluctantly. But so, he's gonna like step on the brakes. That's true, he, that's all he did last <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah. It's a horse drawn cart. Yeah. <laughs> step on the brakes. But pull okay. on the reins. Okay. okay, listen. <clears throat> what does everybody see here? Because I'm seeing a legitimate town. There's nothing to see. Fair, we Why are we that. stopped? Let's keep going. No, there's... Just shut up, Baron. <laughs> Alright. There's a whole town there and I see, like, like real life people there. There is no one. It's, it's deserted. It's just a deserted town. It's the way the, the orc lady said it was. No, it's the way the uh, Goliath said it was. You're delusional like that boomer. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, please. Oh, come on. <laughs> unless, that could be a thing. Unless you can think of what a boomer would be. 
It's it's an older generation. <laughs> it's gen. It's like tomorrow. No, yeah, that's a generation so. made up Please by humans in, in the real world. Oh, come on, dudes. Should have said kangaroos. So what did I roll for it again? Uh, intelligent saving throw. You could have said okay. I was like a really fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who booms like, when he walks. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a uh, boomer. Uh, fifteen. You're fine. Okay. That's what he need. Where wait no. Yeah, you need to get over uh fourteen. I think. Okay. Sick. Wow. All right, listen up. Uh, I'm going to go down alone then and make sure it's safe. Oh, <laughs> I think that's a terrible idea. That is 100% a terrible idea. Cool. So if it's not safe. both of you have disrespected me in like not... the last hour, so I'm not listening to you. <laughs> and I'm going to walk down the We're hotel. looking out for you. Up? Can I cast hope? No, you can't He's... tie me up. I'm walking down. <clears throat> I'm leaving. Okay, oh. how far are we from the town? Uh, it's just down the hill and about half a kilometer away from there. Oh, okay. I'll attempt to keep him in the cart. Okay, uh, roll a strength check, and you can roll either strength or dexterity. Um, do do I or do we do each one of us believe that we seeing what we're actually seeing? Like, yeah. if I see like the desert town, like do I do I think it's an illusion or do I? It looks legit. Okay, Is it just a check or a saving throw. Uh, well, what am I rolling? Probably actually? a saving throw. Saving throw for dexterity. Because he's trying to like. Keep you in the cart. Yeah. Okay, so 21. 21? <laughs> 11. You're easily able to get out of the, right, the cart. I'm going to fucking book it down the hill. <laughs> you can't stop me! I will solve this mystery! You're going to die. What's your movement speed? Uh, three. Uh, 40 feet. Wow. Hmm. A quick little. Fine, die. See if I care. I'm going to die. I'm going to explore. I'm going to learn the true yeah, history yeah, of this town. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pull out my notebook. With the horse? I'm going to pull out my notebook as I run, and I'm going to immediately start... Uh, writing a description of the town as I run towards it. Right. Well, I should actually roll for the horses, roll too. Roll for legibility. The horses? Yeah. Dude. The horses. So for room and skirt. Okay. Uh, right. What are your horse names again? Is it Wright and Luigi? Is yeah. that it? The, Luigi the... and Wright, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that... No, I thought, I thought we named them Don and... Don and... Day or something. We've had so many pairs of animals throughout oh, all our campaigns. Isn't it I remember those two horses. They... I can't remember if it was this campaign. Though. I don't know. Okay, but Luigi and Ronald. Was Dawn from... and Dusk. That was it. Dawn and Dusk. Your campaign. Yeah, it was Dawn yeah, and Dusk. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dawn, Dawn and Dusk. Dusk. Yeah. Luigi and Ronald was yeah. from the my yeah. campaign. Yeah. yeah. So Dawn just Dawn. seems Wait, to be. Why do we name Ruben's horse? <laughs> no, no. no. Name, name I'm gonna horse. name Ruben's horse. I'm naming it Hellstern. Oh. There's three horses. <laughs> okay. I'm naming Ruben's yeah. horse okay. Hellstern. There are two horses for the yeah. cart that right. uh, Farno's driving, and two horses for Ruben's cart. Okay. I mean, one horse for Ruben's cart. Oh, okay. Well, I named him Hellstern. Hellstern. Or her. So Hellstern nice. is just calm, not doing anything. Hell yeah. Uh, Dawn is pretty calm, nothing wrong, and then you see <laughs> Dusk. Just go wild. He's like jumping. He's rising up, trying to run away, running to one side, then trying to run to the other because he can't go further. And he is not having a good time. Cool. I'll (laughs) attempt to, like, I'll jump off the cart and try to get in front of him, try and calm him down. Okay, roll and the handling. You're going to calm him down or put him down? We'll see. (laughs) 15. 15? Uh, you are helping to calm him down a bit, but he's super skitter, skitter, skittish, skittish, skittish still. Okay. And wow. his, all of his, like the hair on his mane is all sticking straight up. Whoa, Dusk, whoa. And he's <laughs> neighing a lot and just like waving his head a lot. Cover his eyes. Also, I'd like to note that Lovecraft totally followed me, by the way. Oh, Lovecraft, too. I, I took him with me. Uh, can you roll for Lovecraft, actually? He'll follow me wherever. We'll see. He's my good boy. He yeah, loves he me. Follow you to hell. I rolled a thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Nothing really. Cool. That's my boy. He is following you. Um. I guess we'll just go after Blaze because he's legit gonna die if we don't. Yeah. Are you going um, in the carts or on foot? I'm gonna yeah. go on the cart. Does the okay. um when I look at the town, this is like. The streets are, are the streets clear enough that I could get the horse and cart through? Yep. Then yeah, I'm going to take the you horse. You literally said I was going to go down to make sure it's safe, but that's fine. We'll We're all worried about in. you because you're a party member. Also, you're delusional. You just bad-talked my entire life dream. <laughs> I was just giving you a hard time. You know you. <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate play. This is kind of a tool, so... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ride... Uh, 
Halston down there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just stealing his course. No, just take the cart, dude. And well, Zach, I'm taking the going horse down and cart. I'm not just taking I'm the I'm going to try and get the cart away from Farron because he doesn't know where the fuck the town is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, going, I'm just going to be up, like, walk up to him and be like, Hey, Farron, there's a town in front of us right now, and you obviously don't see it, so I'm just going to take over for the reins from here. <laughs> I don't see a town because there's no town to be seen. Sure. The dude who... Literally de-aged by a few years, won't believe that he can't see a town. <laughs> Figures. I can drive. I know where I'm going. Okay, I don't know if it's illusion or what it is, but you can't see it. Because so... there's nothing to see. Well, Farron, how I didn't miss you. <laughs> I'm going to try and uh, wrestle the reins from him. Okay, uh, just roll a strength check. I feel like this is when he would take out his rod. Oh, I hate that thing. He loves it. He got a 16 plus whatever he has. I got a 7. He's able to keep the uh, reins. And he starts to try to giddy them up. And then he pulls out his rod with his free hand. (laughs) No, no one can talk. Whatever. I'm giving up. (laughs) He can go crash a car into a wall. (laughs) Oh my god. I'll just... I'll start walking down the... Down the path. Okay. Down the main street. So edgy. <laughs> okay, as soon as we get to the town. Yeah. I'm going to cast Detect Evil and Good. Okay. Would we Can have you had read a, that spell for me? Yeah. Would we have had a rest in between? <laughs> yeah. We rested at the we, top we of the... the, night just or the yeah, we're, we already had a yeah. long rest. Yeah. Okay. So you're yeah. good. You have all you should look. Detect... Evil and good. For the duration, you know if there's an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey fiend, or undead within 30 feet of you, as well as where the creature's located. You know there's a place or object within 30 feet of you that's been magically consecrated or desecrated. This spell can penetrate most barriers, but is blocked by a foot of stone, an inch of metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Ten minutes. All around you, there seems to be some kind of magic. It's... Not necessarily good or evil, just some kind of magic. And I can't detect any undead or anything? No, you don't notice any undead. Does that spell detect magic or just evil and good? Well, there's detect evil and good. Yeah, because you have to use detect magic to detect... It detects consecration and desecration. I also have detect magic. So I guess I'm going to cast that as well. But, so I can see ghosts. Uh, yeah, you see ghosts everywhere just walking around as if it... But... Yeah, the spell doesn't detect them as no. undead. Do do Ryan and I see the same people, but he sees them as ghosts, and I see them as real people? And then the town for me is also like completely normal, but for him it's still run down. Is that like the what it is? Like he's seeing like yeah, all the ghosts actually right. the exact same thing. Yeah. Like, in past, pretty much. Okay, that's fucking trippy. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, I ran ahead. Uh, but do I see? What do I see? Like when I get closer, uh, as you go into this town, it just seems to be old town. Like an old town, but you notice the technology or like ways of building the homes and buildings isn't quite near. Well, it's quite old. Like it's nowhere near what it's at today. Okay. I'm a, can I? I'm gonna approach a villager then. Yeah, sure. I'll be like, uh, hey, ah. Uh! Or like grab, like a kid grabbing his dad's <laughs> robe on his back. Hey, hey, ah! Uh! I thought this place was abandoned. This town. I thought it was. Uh... Long dis- Like, I literally just met a dude down the road. He said there was no one here. What are you talking about? You see everyone here. I do, which is why I'm quite slightly concerned. And you actually see a lot of humans in this town as well. Like, more than you've ever seen in one one place. This is a human too, and he says... I, I don't know what you're talking about. We haven't seen a visitor for quite a while. Why is, why is that, you think? I have no idea. We... Yeah, actually. Okay, so I'm going to retcon that. Yep. We get visitors all the time. I'm not sure who you'd be talking about. <laughs> it's, it's a busy place. Like the, with, the mines, with the mines up here, it's a huge boom, booming... <laughs> <laughs> it's a booming industry. Like, so many people work in the mines... Uh, but both at the silver mine and the coal and diamond mine, uh, do this out there. 
So nothing weird has happened at all in the last few days, or no, no, not at all. Weird, because yeah, it was a booming business. How long ago? How long ago? Uh, before you... New Emerald disappeared. Yeah, when was the war at? That was, I think, the war was five hundred years ago. I probably have changed it like five times in game, but yeah, I think it was around five hundred years ago, and it was like a fifteen-year war. See, I'm. It was a booming business before you all disappeared about 500 years ago. What are you talking about? We're all here. You're right. This is probably a little too much for you. Um, By the way, what are you? I think that's a very rude question <laughs> for you to I'm ask. I'm sorry, but I've just never seen anyone who looks like you before. I'm a special kind of dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> that's so wrong. I feel attacked. <laughs> Kind of the point. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to like persuade him, or I just said just it because like him? I don't want to say I'm a fucking abyssal wretch. So okay. I guess I deceived him. He he just says I've never seen a dwarf like that before. We're not very common, as okay. you can tell. And most of us aren't really accepted. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Um, do I approach it in the car? Yeah, okay. yeah you have yeah. approach. Yeah, as I'm approaching, I'm like, "You abyssal wretch, get back here!" <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see these people, so you, they probably can't, can't hear you. They don't see um, you. Oh, that's fine. You I just shout it to you. I hear him. Yeah. I, uh, I, rec- I recognize the voice, right? Yeah, of yeah, course. I ignore yeah. him. Yeah. So I see Blaze talking to a ghost. To a ghost. Yeah. And the ghost is talking back. Yeah. But I can't detect the ghost with magic. No. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Uh, Can you read Detect Magic for me? I just want to know what yeah, yeah. exactly that's, you would uh, know. You sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. Is If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. You can learn its school of magic, if any. Penetrates most barriers, but is blocked by a foot of stone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the magic aura is covering this entire place. So you can't actually see like whether the ghosts are magic themselves, but everything here is covered in that magic aura. And I'm just going to see if I can uh, see what kind of magic it is. So, Brian, it seems that they don't know that they disappeared a long time ago. But uh, they feel like they've been here the whole time and nothing has ever happened. Uh, I'm pretty sure that what I'm seeing is an illusion. (laughs) Just based off of, you know, cold, hard facts of historical evidence. Look, they, they just look like ghosts to me. I see real live people. Yeah. But I cast Who? some spells and. Listen, we get, you don't close. fucking see anything. There's no one here. It's, Listen, it's all magic. There's a magical aura covering everything in this town. It seems to be two types of magic divination and. Uh, evocation. Well, no, not evocation. Uh, conjuration. Probably conjuration. Divination and conjuration magic. <clears throat> covering this whole town. Do you think there's some kind of item in here that makes their past selves appear? Who are you talking to? The human says. Talking to my friend Ryan. What do you mean? Oh boy. Uh, let's find an alley. <laughs> we'll talk there, okay? Let's just get through the town. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. Bye-bye. Oh and I'll take Ryan's invisible hand, apparently, okay. and drag him up into an alleyway with Lovecraft. Okay, like, you see the town, too. Yeah. Like, it's just you see ghosts in the town. I'm gonna pull him, and I guess you two. I'm I'm on the horse still. No, I think I'm not getting off the horse. Well, you're not being helpful, so we're just gonna leave you there, <laughs> or you can come with your choice. So but I'm gonna drag him it. into an alleyway. <laughs> I think so we the can, guys, these guys are going crazy. So we can discuss Talk in private. Okay, okay. I think there's an item in the town that displays their past selves, and they're in like a protective circle barrier or something. There's some kind of item here that is like. Keeping their souls lingering or something. Or it's a defensive tactic placed by someone to scare people off. That could be... I don't know. All I know is that this entire place is magical. I don't know if it's real or if it's an illusion. Can you detect where the source is coming from? I don't think so. Because tech magic doesn't... If yeah. it, it just shows me an aura and stuff around me. So, I don't know. Is there any geographical landmarks that stand out in the town? Uh, there's, like, the main square in the very center of the, uh, town that has each different kind of magic, like, etched into stone on, like, equal parts of the circle. That's the only real standout landmark? Uh, that's one of them, uh, 
It's a pretty flat, da- flat town because it's in the middle of a valley between two mountains. And between two marshes, act- uh, yeah, marshes actually. Um, you see that there's a bar in the sound that is super bustling. You see a, uh, uh, there's a very large building, like, uh, it would probably be equivalent to around three or four stories. And it's, it's the main mining headquarters there. That's another one of the main buildings that seems more important than others. But besides that, there's not too many other like important landmarks. Um, perhaps we should head to the center of town. Try and order a beer. <laughs> <laughs> seems as good a bet as any. Were you talking to them? Yeah. Because I couldn't hear anything. They were talking to me like I was right there. Like we even touched each other. I could see it. It looked like a ghost and couldn't hear any words. It couldn't hear you either, or see you, apparently. I don't know what the hell I drank this morning. <laughs> what made me so special, but I can interact with these people. I think I think if I explore, I can figure out what happened to them. All right, well, let's investigate. It might be because you're so close to death. No, that's uh, <laughs> a lot of flaws logic there. I... I think you just read too many books. You're too superstitious. <laughs> if that were the case, then Aylrandell would definitely be able to see this. <laughs> yeah. Listen, let's, uh, I think if we, we investigate, like, if, we, if I can talk and see them all, like, this is a chance to really solve one of the great mysteries. This would be great material for my book. We didn't know this was a mystery until we got here. Players would have known. You and Farron definitely wouldn't have known because you're not uh, home. Nice you're, the, yeah, this isn't your home plane. Okay. Uh, the two of you may have what? heard it. What? The two of you <laughs> can make a history check if you want. Uh, I guess. Very wild, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know that either. Well, <laughs> I guess that makes sense, yeah. Uh, um, I guess. Sten isn't that far from here. Yeah. <laughs> what I've heard. Uh, roll a history check. I got a 14. 14? Uh, where's H? I also got a 14. 14? Uh, you guys have heard rumors of a ghost town somewhere in the northeast of oh, okay. Telthania. Cool. But you never really heard of the name or what happened to it or why it became ghost town or anything like that. Cool. You just heard, like, rumors of um, it. 50,000 people used to live here. That's just a ghost town. <laughs> I know what that's from. I know what that's from. I know what that's from. Doesn't matter. Uh, what is that from? <laughs> it's called Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Listen, I think the best bet is we head to the center of town. Like that, usually, if you're investigating or exploring something, you start from the middle and make your way outwards. Farron is just shaking his head back in the car, just wondering, what the hell are these guys doing? What does he see? Just a giant, empty fucking field? Yeah, pretty much. Like, it, the exact same landscape on as it was before. Wow. Listen, Farron, I think it's best you just stay in the cart and off to the side, out of the way. <laughs> Don't interact with anyone or anything. You can just be quiet. Just pretend you're not even here. <laughs> yeah, pretend you're not even here. I mean, I guess. I thought we were heading towards the... I don't see any reason why we should stop in an empty field. This is something that is really important to me. <laughs> an empty field? Guys, let's get a move on. <laughs> we have no good reason to be here. This is a, a golden opportunity that has befallen into my lap. I can't just turn it off. I turned it out. I, I can't just. We're already it. wasting time going to this stupid wizard. <laughs> Didn't you want to come through this town to go through quicker? I may have had ulterior motives. We're going to spend a whole another day here when we could have spent that day going around. Oh my God. I can't just pass this up, you guys. I'm also curious, now that I have cast all my spells and shit. Some kind of curse was placed upon this town. If we do this, we can help people. Obviously something happened here, but are we the people to actually do something about it? We're the only people in the world who are ever doing anything about anything. <laughs> We dealt with the fucking... There's no no one here. (laughs) (laughs) It's empty. 
no one's no one's around. <laughs> Who would be helping besides yourself? We're already going out of our way to get this flower oh to go see this God. stupid wizard. All for you. So this is all just a bunch of waste of time. We already we're up here to go see this dragon and save Fasmir, oh who's already God. dead. So why don't we just go see Artemis and go save the world already and get this thing over with? I kind of agree with him right now. I just want to kill Artemis already so I can be dead forever. <laughs> if you want to be dead forever, I can literally do that for you. Well, I can... <laughs> Not important. Listen, that was some cold, hard logic you threw at me. I respect that. Also, I can't just walk away from this. Watch me. <laughs> oh, you, walking. you can walk away from it. I'm not going to walk away from it. Ryan, do you want to solve this mystery? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll stay. I mean, you've got two cards. Yeah, no, no. Don't split the party. Uh, I'm just worried if we leave. What if I don't come back? We're never going to come back here. That's what I mean. Like, this is my chance. We'll stay. Ooh, he's right, though. We've been wasting so much time. I'm walking, too. Yeah, but okay. this is like your life goal. <sighs> So, Zach, are you going to the cart that Farron was in? Because he's still just uh, uh, sitting there just waiting to drive the cart again. Yeah, I guess I'll lead him through the town. Okay. We Since should go. Won't let me drive. <laughs> Alright, that's what you think. Yeah, we're gonna go. Alright. You're leaving the town? Yeah. Okay. I plan on coming back when... I'm coming back! And you can't fucking stop me! I don't care. <laughs> Wasn't that? Wasn't there an episode of Pokemon like that where Ash goes to a town and it kicks his ass and he leaves, but he's like, "I'm coming back one day." From like the first season, no. I'm not sure. Sounds slightly familiar, but All right. anyway. Okay, so everyone's heading back to the cards and going through town. I never left the horse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're just screaming at us from across the street. <laughs> you guys went down a back alley, but if Farron could talk to you in the car, like, because well, we weren't that far away, yeah. Yeah. So I was just yelling at you guys. All right, all right. Yeah, all right. let's carry on. Back in the court. Cart, court. Thank God. <laughs> Balls in the cart. Okay, so you make it back to the cart and you're going through town. Uh, Dusk is still super skittish and freaking out. You you and Farron are barely able to keep him uh, yeah. in, in control. Uh, but you do make it through the town, and you go on the other side, and make your way through, like, on the rest of the trail. Hey, since we're, like, in the town, briefly, can I look for a blacksmith shot? <laughs> <laughs> sure. This is not a real town, Brian! I'm just curious. Brian, it's not real. I, I guarantee you anything, people. you'll spend your money. I'm not gonna buy, I'll never buy anything in a blacksmith shop. I'm, I'm not stopping the crowd. Also, this town seems pretty real to me. Look at all those kids. Do I see a blacksmith shop? Uh, you do. Uh, there's actually a big Shut sign. <laughs> big sign for it with uh, town, like, really intricate yeah, metal yeah, but you're not gonna be like, logo. Okay, then we should stop for this blacksmith shop. Like the name of it as well, which I'm not. I, yeah. I'll come real. up with in three but seconds. You know what I meant. Uh, you noticed that you this blacksmith meant, shop you? is called. Uh. The Eternal Iron. Okay. The Eternal Iron? The Eternal. 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 Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. And uh, the logo is uh, a large, really intricate forge with a bunch of different druids on it. And uh, there are just a bunch of different weapons just surrounding it. As well as one suit of armor. And it seems to be a really popular place to the ghosts. The ghosts keep coming in and out with some with one weapon or taking a weapon in for being fixed or stuff like that. Liz, are you in my cart? Are we in the same cart? Uh, yeah. Well, no. You're in the other cart with Ruman, right? Well, I don't know. Whatever. We could have just... I don't know. Sure. I got back in the one with Farron, so... Okay, okay, then. No. But, okay, okay. We'll stop the cart. I'm not stopping. I'm going to get out. You're not driving. Yeah, Ruby's cart? Yeah. 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 I never got off that horse, dude. I'm Aaron slowly... Aaron, don't stop. Aaron, don't stop. <laughs> I'm not stopping. Aaron, don't stop the cart. It's car. not real. Please. 
<laughs> just I need two minutes. Right. This is this it's is important. An empty blacksmith shop. <laughs> <laughs> just, just give me two minutes, um, please. What do I see when I look across at the blacksmith shop? Uh, it seems to be a rundown blacksmith shop. Like it's the same building that was there about five, six hundred years ago, but it is run down. Like some planks are missing. It's uh, the sign is hanging on only one pin. And there are holes in the windows and stuff like that. Oh my so God. I guess it's not internal. Yeah, I guess not. So do I see the rundown version? You see the... the version as it was before. Oh my God. Wouldn't he see the rundown one? Well, he's ghosts. seeing just the ghost. He sees the, the ghost. That's whack. Okay, okay. Blaze, Blaze. Come here, please. Hey, I'm going to stop the cart. Listen, <laughs> don't tempt me. Blaze, I'm Blaze. really struggling to actually just, leave. This is important. Come with me, please. <sighs> I'll get okay. out of the cart. Okay, thank you. I'm not stopping the car. I'll come help! I'm here on it. I'm, I'm just coming out. Uh, Please stop the car. I will join you only if you apologize for calling history by an abyssal wretch worthless to read. Alright, I'm sorry. It was just a joke because you're not actually an abyssal wretch. You're. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> no, he is an abyssal, abyssal wretch. Yeah. 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 Thank you, because that really hurt my feelings, and I hope that you remember this from now on. All right, thank you. Er, I'm sorry. I will. Uh, let's go, please. Because you, you, you can, anyway. you can talk to the ghosts, right? Yeah, they've been. Re- and they actually, like, I'm, they're giving me some weird looks right now. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm talking to myself. So okay. let's go. We go to the shop. We go. Okay, come. I uh, if you don't stop the car, I'm just gonna jump off. Okay. I you asshole. <laughs> Two minutes. Wait for us. Please. I stop it, I guess. Thank you. All right. Do I find anything that I can shoot? Like, wh- what so, do you mean? Since it's going to be two minutes, I just want to yeah. practice my archery. Okay, yeah, there, 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 are, soft targets? there are different signs in the city that have been trotted before. Okay. Like signs for the tavern or inn or uh, shops and stuff like that. the blacksmith sign. Okay. <laughs> You fucking would. <laughs> I don't think, they, they, like, you know, the way I see it, I probably won't even see it having anything happen because, like, we're seeing two different realities right now, mm-hmm. so. Let's go in the shop. Okay, so you guys are entering the shop. Yeah, the shop. Uh, you open the store. Uh, you, you guys see it that there's no actual door. <laughs> the door's like gone. It's lawn broken <laughs> off. Is <laughs> 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 that like, caved in? Or? So. Uh, it, actually, like, it was, like, broken down, and it's about two or three feet to the uh, left of the building itself. Okay, so, yeah. let me get this it's straight. just, like... Let me, let me get this straight. Okay. Um, they see just a rundown ancient town. Yeah. He sees a rundown ancient town, but with ghosts in it. No, he no, sees, he sees, like, the, the town as it was before. With ghosts. With ghosts. And then you see... And I see everything as it was before. with real people, and I can talk to them. Yeah. And Farron is... is sees NPC. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, does that mean he's, what is, like... Uh, Ruman saw the same that Tony and Zack saw, so okay. he saw nothing out of the ordinary. Um, so when, like, Farron looks across, does he just see, like, an open field and, like, they're, like, pretending to open <laughs> Yeah, <the> exactly. <laughs> 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 uh, what, what do I see uh, inside? Uh, inside? You can see what I'm shooting at, then? Well, <laughs> no. You know, it was just, like, being stuck in midair. <laughs> no, you see the building. No, but Farron would. Yeah. 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 Oh, Farron. He's yeah, the sign. That's exactly what he, see, what he sees. Okay. So, if the door that they see is, like, lying yeah. on the ground to the side, yeah. if I walk through that space, because there's no door there for yeah. me, would they see me walk through the door? There is a door there for you. You see the-, the same as Blaze, so, they're, like, the shop is completely yeah, no. as it was before. But, like, they see that the door is, like, ripped off its hinges yeah. and lying on the ground. Yeah. So, if I walk through the space where they see it lying on the ground, would they see me walk through the door, or would I... Step on trip? the door. Listen, here's what an idea. Okay, Let's not over. overthink it. I'm curious. <laughs> Let's not overthink it. I'm but, curious. But what? Are, yeah, because like, like, is what we're seeing the real yeah. reality? Because if the door's on the ground and he steps on it, do we or see him step on the door? Or does he go a up the illusion that it reality. looks like I just walk over the door? Yeah, because for us, it could. What actually is reality, and why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> they see you. They see you actually walk over the door. Wow. Uh, okay. Cool. Wow. We're in our we're, uh-huh. right now. We're in like a com, kind of like a. It's like a skin, you know. Like we're in a what the. F- 
Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we're in, like in our own little reality right now. There we go. Okay. So that's all. It's when, magic. When magic. They open, when they open no door and they just like move their arm out and across that Lazarus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do I see in the yeah, blacksmith shop? shop? Uh, it's a bustling ba- blacksmith shop. You see about ten other customers in here. You see uh, a lar- uh, a dwarf who's got a very long beard that goes all the way down to his feet. Uh, black hair that, again, goes all the way down to his feet but the other side. <laughs> uh, uh, you do see that every once in a while there's a patch that's missing from it just from getting cinched and stuff. Uh, He's covered in coal dust and stuff like that, and uh, dirt just from the the forge. Uh, you see a bunch of different weapons everywhere, and they seem to be of magnificent quality. Oh my god! Like better than mine? Probably. Yeah. Wow! Better than my masters? Possibly. Oh my so god! So there are two dwarves, or two people with long black hair. No, there's one dwarf who's managing the entire shop. Since I'm the only one who can act, I will go up and I'll be like, um, Oh, my dwarven brethren! So there, there's a line and like... Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. I would walk up to the counter. <laughs> like, he could just walk up to the counter. There are people standing in, the li- in line to talk to him, though. How long would I have to wait if it's in he, the He'd line? guess it would be probably around five, ten minutes. I'll wait in line. So, so when I look through the shop window, I see he's like standing there. Yeah, he's there, just standing there. <laughs> After about uh, two minutes, I'm like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" I'm gonna turn around and be like, "Just wait your goddamn turn, I don't know. I can't just butt myself in line, can I?" Oh, um, we don't even know. There's no one there. The other customers just are. Kind of weirded out by you guys by now. Ah, let it go, lady! I ain't bothering you! Can I... Do I hear them (laughs) say... Uh, would you? Uh, They would hear me. Yeah, they'd they'd hear him saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so are there weapons on display? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I, like, go over to them and pick them up and examine them? You can't... uh, Or... uh, Are they, like, in real life, like, what these two are seeing, and there's still weapons there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. Or uh, no, the ones you see, there might be a couple weapons, but they seem very rusted yeah. and very old. Of course, it. Uh, the two of you do see the fantastic right, weapons. So if we pick sword. any weapon up it's and the hold it, they won't. Yeah, they'll think we're just playing with with air. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and unless you pick up one that is like super rusted and mm, broken. Okay. I'm assuming we get to the front of the line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dwarven brethren! It is I, one of your cousin dwarves! <laughs> from the mountains that are not these ones! <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's a skin disease! Um, <laughs> please, 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 please. Sorry, listen! Uh, what do you want me to ask him? <laughs> <laughs> ask him who he is. Ask him who taught him. Ask him where he learned his stuff. Oh, uh, what might your name ask him be? About his, the quality of his goods. Ask him where he gets his metal. One thing at a time, oh, Ryan. Ask him everything. <laughs> One thing at a time, Ryan. Uh, my name is uh, Mordar Jarman. M O R N A R. Yeah. J O R M O R N. You're never gonna beat this guy. More not Jorman. Ah, uh, well, well, sorry. What was it, Ryan? One, th- one thing at a time. Just what's next? <laughs> the dwarf is looking super confused. Sorry about this. And really, he, he's looking right at you, but and then looks back at you and doesn't see anything. So he's... try not to stress yourself out over it. <laughs> I'll ask him how long he's been doing this. Ask him who his master was. Ask him where he learned the trade. I said one thing. That is one thing. <laughs> oh, okay. How long have you been a blacksmith for, Mister Jorman? Uh, probably about a hundred years now. Who's his master? Who taught him? Who taught you how to blacksmith? My dad taught me a lot, uh, back when I was just a boy, and he always kept on teaching me more and more and more until I was able to perfect the trade as much as possible. Your wares are fairly good quality then, I assume. I'd say so. And the customers behind you are like, yeah, like you. I I shout across to them. I'm like, hurry up! I don't have a year. <laughs> Let it go here now. Um, What's 
next rhyme? Does he have an apprentice? Do you have an apprentice at all, Mr. Drummond? I do. He's actually just on a holiday today. He's not able... He was... He... He's over in uh, Igor, seeing family. What's uh, What's his name? His name is... That's confidential. You uh, can't give away your employee information. <laughs> 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 Networking is important. His name is Garmon Ronbis. Is he any good? Is he any good, you how, think? How long has he been your <laughs> apprentice? Uh, how long has he been your apprentice? He's been my apprentice for about five years now. He's starting to get pretty good. How much, does he have a lot of potential? Does he have a lot of potential, you think? I'd say so. He's a good kid. Is he also a dwarf? Yes. Okay. What was his name? Uh... Like where'd that go? Uh, it was. Uh, I totally lost where it was. Uh, hopefully, I can something find it. Something with a G. Yeah. Uh, Wasn't it like Gorman something? I can't remember. There was like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, was his name Giovanni? No. Oh, uh, Garman Ronbis. G A R M U N. Giovanni. Giovanni. R O N B I S. Um, <laughs> how much time have they been in there for? Okay. Ignore him. Uh, no. It's probably been about 12 minutes by now. Okay, oh I'm going to shoot an arrow at, like towards them. Like, not like at them, yeah. but like just like shoot it at them like to would, hurry up. Would they okay. be hearing like, the guns on the time? No, they wouldn't <laughs> hear anything. I don't think. You're going to shoot something at me? <clears throat> He's yeah. shooting at the sign. What? Um... I'm just shooting at the building. Like I'm gonna shoot yeah. an arrow. Like tell you, you guys wouldn't hear the thuds. We would with the shotgun. Like no, fifteen to twenty seconds. You hear it that on the side. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore it then. Yeah, whatever. Let let, let like, them do their thing. I'm gonna shoot one through the window, like kind of where they are, but not at them. Like it's like just like like a hurry up. Okay. Warning shot. Cool. I'm going to ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> just like right behind the counter. <laughs> just like if you know, yeah, if the kiss is just, you know. What else, Ryan? Uh, just to roll to it. Okay. Um do I recognize the names of the blacksmith or his apprentice? Roll a history check. Roll a history check. Yeah. Do I get advantage because I'm a blacksmith? Natural twenty. Wow. Which is uh, thirty. If you add 15. my thingy. Fifteen. Okay, uh so yeah. you asked if you wanted to try to hit an arrow near them, right? Yeah, just like 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 a, like a hurry up warning shot type thing. Like I'm not in, my intention is not to hit them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're trying to shoot through the window. Yeah. Okay, so because I wanted to like I want them to see it. Like it's like a hurry up. Yeah. So you hit the window and it shatters. That's what you see. What do you guys see? Is an arrow just pass through the window? <laughs> no. Uh... Fuck, this is really hard to keep track of. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like what we would see is like. Their shit going through what we're seeing, like, there's not actually doing anything to what we're seeing. Yeah. Like a hologram kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah. So, like, it would yeah. just phase through the window, phase through, like, customers, and, like, hit, like, a a bottle, but it won't actually break the bottle. That's what I feel like. So that's then, what I'm imagining. Yeah, you, you see it hit the window, and then it just kind of materializes, or dematerializes. And it doesn't break the window at all. So... So then, would, would that, like, solidify, in, like, for them, that they're not... That their reality is not truly real? No, so I was we just, well aware that it's not truly real. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> it seems think, extremely real, too. But I know it's not real because I know this town was abandoned years ago. We just met someone who said it was abandoned years ago. I read the history books. I know this isn't real. It's eerily live. I'm aware that it's eerily alive, but I know that what I'm seeing <laughs> is not the reality real. Plays. <laughs> Will you just fucking wait? <laughs> <laughs> The customers behind it's you are like, holy oh, shit. And <laughs> the dwarf is seeming kind of <laughs> agitated with this. <laughs> sir? You, I'm very sir, sorry. Sir, sir, I'm very sir, sorry. I'm very you have sorry. to calm down if you want to stay in the shop. I'm fine. I'm very calm. Oh okay. I'll turn to the empty space next to me. What's next, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Do I recognize the names? Uh, I got a 15. Yeah, 15. You got a nat 20? Uh, 30. Oh, 30. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think you know you've heard the name before you're not exactly sure, sure where it came from or why it's in your mind but it does seem familiar somehow yeah. you know that it's a blacksmith who was from uh, Igor 
about... Uh, well, during the war, and he actually made a lot of the tools and weapons and armor for a lot of the armies during the war against humans. He's passed, though? He's dead? Or is he still alive? Because he's a dwarf. So. Yeah. Uh, well, dwarfs don't live 500 years. No, he passed they? away about uh, 200 years ago. Okay. Um, anything else you want me to ask, Ryan? So much, but nothing that can be answered, probably. Let's just go. <clears throat> All right. Oh, wow. One more thing. Anything aside from me? Anything weird happened in town last few days? Any any strangers come by? Any shady characters aside from me? I mean, we, we got people here all the time from all over the uh, country. How's the mining going? It's you guys going... getting pretty deep? Yeah, it's going great, actually. It's never been better. You digging really deep? Oh, yeah. Quite deep, yeah. Really in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you say you've maybe dug a little too deep? <laughs> I don't think so. There's a ton left in the mine. Oh. A lot of the materials here are from the mine. Like, all, most of the weapons I make from stuff from the mine. Can I see one of your nice uh, knives back there, please? Of course. Uh, he hands you a knife that it... Well, there are a bunch of knives. You do see a couple that have, like, diamond tips or diamond edges as well. Is that one you'd want to look at? I want his most expensive looking one. Yeah. I'll take him with the diamond tip. Okay, yeah. So there's one with a diamond tip and diamond edges as well. And there's one diamond on the very bottom of the hilt. Hilt. Do uh, do we just see Blaze hung up a rusty ass sword? And... Uh, I'm going to roll. <laughs> well, actually, no, that, that wouldn't have still been there. So... All you see him is he's just holding his hand out and like going like this. Beautiful craftsmanship. Um, can I inspect it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what kind of magic am I getting from it? Is this just the same as everything else? Yeah, same as everything else. Okay. What should I roll? What would I just do? Like, uh, what are you trying to determine from it? What it's made from? You know. Okay. Uh, that would be. Uh, um, yeah, it'll probably be intelligence. We're in investigation. Investigation? investigation? Yeah. Uh, 21. Uh, you know that... You obviously you know that the tip is... The tip, edges, and the diamond at the bottom are made from diamonds. It's and like my diamond knife. Yeah, yeah, except better looking. Better? Oh, damn. That hurts. Uh, and... You assume that the ore that is used to smelt of the metal fort was probably from the mountains, as the dwarf had said. Is it similar to most normal ores, or is it different? Uh, if you look at the forge he has, you'd be able to determine better. You're not exactly sure. Like, I can't tell from the metal itself? Yeah. If it's different metal? Okay. Just because it's been reworked Tempered tons and tons and times. Uh, Okay, asked to see his best piece of work. What is your most proudest creation? Oh, you're going to love this. And no, Benny- Bridget, I will not hurry up. <coughs> I, <turn. laughs> I, <laughs> I have I waited my time. It's my turn at the line, okay? You, you'll you wait your turn just like oh I waited God. for mine. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Uh, so he goes to the back and grabs a war hammer. And... It's one of the nicest Warhammers you've ever seen. There are so many intricacies in it, uh, design-wise, as well as you don't see any dents, any uh, looks of wear. The handle and the like rod itself are perfectly straight and seem like if you put it, if you held it, it would fit perfectly in your hand. Do I recognize this Warhammer? Is something? Roll, roll a history check. Do I recognize this Warhammer? Roll history check. Roll 25. 25. Something special. Someone important may have used it. 14. 14. Uh, again, like with the name, it seems to... It looks familiar. You're not exactly sure where. But it seems like ex- like an extremely fantastic Warhammer. Uh, what did you roll? 25. 25. Uh, you recognize this as... Peace Bringer. It was one of the hammers that was wi- wielded by one of the major war generals in the war against humans. 
What happened? And to he you? was one. He was just the one who actually helped end the war in a major way. What happened to him and his war hammer? Uh, he died of old age. He was a human, or no, he wasn't a human. He was a uh, let's say he was a goliath, and he just died of old age. Uh, you do know that he was a captain of a guard in a few different cities. Avranches was one of them for the longest time. Uh, Stillsby was another. He just pretty much went wherever there somewhere needed more protection. What happened to his hammer? Uh, you know that it was passed down to his kids, and his kids after that, and his kids after that. And y- you believe that it probably is still with the family somewhere. Uh, where's his family? You're not exactly sure. So this is the past. It confirms it. Thank you very much. It's a little out of my price range, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't expecting you to buy it. I'm just <laughs> oh, it's I'm, not for sale. <laughs> I'm always excited to just throw it around. I completely understand that. Do you want to see my gun? No. Oh, you're leaving crazy. Whatever. Sorry. Shut up, Ryan. I'm not crazy. Don't say I'm crazy. Anyway, sir, you have a good afternoon. You too. What? Ask him if there's anything that he has that he's working on or that he doesn't normally show people that he's. Is there anything you're working on? Right now, of great importance to you, or maybe you don't often show people. There's stuff I've been commissioned to make by various Such armies or cities, so I can't actually tell you what they're for you. Would you Push show me? <laughs> I can't hear any of this stuff. No. Shit. Any personal projects? I've always got personal projects on the run. This Warhammer here. <laughs> this is this is actually oh a personal God. product. All right, well that's fine. Thank you for your time. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for coming out. It's nice to see. It's always nice to see new faces. No, it's always good. Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> I said wait your damn turn. Uh, that's uh, always good to talk to a guy who loves his work as much as I love my work. All right. See you later. Then. What I, I say. All right, and I'll. I'll, I'll we will leave the blacksmith shop. Me everything. I tell him everything. Okay, Okay, cool. I am fucking rock hard. (laughs) (laughs) And that's where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with with Demons. Thanks for that.